How many of y'all rode your bikes here tonight? I know it's a rough night for biking, but a true Philadelphian will ride in all weather. Who rode SEPTA here? Anybody take the 15 trolley here? My profession is a bike trail designer, but I want to talk tonight about trolleys. I don't mean the grotesque Victorian replicas mounted on school bus bodies like that run to the casino. I mean electric streetcars. Their history in the city, what's happening here and in other cities, and a look at the future as well. This is the density of service in the 1950s in Philadelphia. Every north-south street had a line on it, just not broad, and through an accident of history, not 21st. So that's where you'd want to ride your bike. That was the actual network. That network took about 50 years to build from the 1850s to about 1900. Now, what ran on those rails? That changed over time. Started off with horse. They tried steam, called steam dummies, that were not very successful. They had cable cars on Columbia Avenue, 7th Street down to McKean, and on Market Street as well, and finally the electric. And the difference in time between the top left and this was only 40 years. There was some amazing technology that happened in that time. And these things ruled Philadelphia for about 50 years. There were 2,700 of them. There were 633 miles of rail, which if you put end to end would stretch from here to Indianapolis. You can't drive that in 10 hours. There was a problem in 1955 when National City Lines was invited in by the board of directors of Philadelphia Transportation Company. In some cities, NCL bought their way in. Here they were invited in. And who is NCL? It's a pretty innocuous name, National City Lines. That was NCL. And they went around the country dismantling electric systems. And they were, they were eventually, they eventually paid $1 in fines when this was brought up. There's actually a face. This was Douglas Pratt. He came from Baltimore where he had just decimated that system. He was a roving resume. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. This was the vision of the future. They looked kind of like trolleys. They were clean. Well, they, the thing is the diesel particulates that they spewed were really carcinogenic. They were, and also the capacity was, was so small in these things that the lines that previously had no problem or um, were having problems just, just maintaining them. This is what SEPTA inherited in 1968. That's the streetcar system in Philadelphia in 68. You can see that it spans pretty much the entire city. After 25 years of SEPTA, the next slide shows what they did. So even without national city lines, there was a massive abandonment of electric, of 100% electric surface transportation in the city. One line came back. That was the 15, which is right outside here, because Mayor Rendell insisted on it. He had good support in city council, and the ma general manager of SEPTA at the time, Jack Leary, the lower right picture, was an outsider. He was shortly fired, and the board said they'd never bring an outsider in again. And they tried to kill the 15. They omitted it from the year 2000 budget, but people realized what they were doing, and they, 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 it, they brought it back in, even though they cut the budget by 50%. The next line we haven't forgotten about is the 23 end to end. Uh, two lists right there. One is of cities that are building streetcar lines, actually raising the money, going for scarce federal funding, and there's one city on the list that is still trying to pay over them. <laughs> this is uh, 2006. That's a 1947 Streamliner. They'd sell them for 1200 bucks, but it cost more than that just to put it on a flatbed, so there were a lot of them just destroyed. They had about 200 of them. And these are actually the exact same units. I took the photos on the left, the top one on Baltimore Avenue and the bottom one on Erie Avenue in the 80s. And in the 90s, that's the exact same unit on the West Coast. This is what we're told is green now. It's one thing if you're, if you're replacing, if you're running these on, on formerly 100% diesel lines, but these were electric lines. My map doesn't even include 29 and 79, the electric trolley bus routes in South Philly that they killed in 2003. What are other cities doing? Well, how about ride the wind? That's what Calgary calls it. It's 100% renewable energy, and they're proud of it. And they, they make it part of their, part of what makes their system great. Here's a thought for future. Maybe look at what's happening successfully in other places. Because I think Philadelphia deserves better. <laughs>